Hey everyone, let's talk about what RAM or random access memory is, why you need it, how to find out how much RAM your computer has, and where to buy more RAM if you want to add more to your computer. RAM is a part of main memory and it acts as temporary storage that interacts with your computer processor, allowing your computer to multitask or run multiple programs efficiently. Every operating system made today expects computers to have RAM, so if your computer does not have any, it will not run. RAM is a form of flash memory, and flash memory is faster than hard drive memory storage because flash memory has no moving parts, unlike your hard drive which must scan for information in a circular motion with a read-write head. If you do not have enough RAM, which means that you are constantly filling it up, then your computer processor must interact with your hard drive to retrieve information which takes a lot more time. So it is very important that you have enough RAM. The first way to check and see how much RAM your computer has is to click on the start menu and then to right click on my computer and select the properties tab. On this page you can see a lot of information about your computer including what type of operating system that you have and I have a Windows XP Service Pack 3 operating system. You can also see what type of computer processor you have. And I have an Intel Core Duo processor. And right below that, you can see how much RAM your computer is holding. I'm holding 1.99 gigabytes of RAM, or approximately 2 gigabytes of RAM. And now that we've seen that, we can press OK. I recommend having at least 1 gigabyte of RAM for anyone running a Windows XP operating system. If you're running a Windows Vista operating system, I recommend at least 2 gigabytes of RAM. And if you're also planning on running the Microsoft Windows 7 operating system, which is coming out in October, then 2 gigabytes of RAM will also be sufficient. Windows Vista and Windows 7 have more features than Windows XP, which make them more of a system or memory hog and you have to allocate more resources into RAM which is why you need more RAM to be efficient. Now another way to check how much RAM you have is to go back and click on the start menu again and then to click on the run button and then type in CMD and press enter to access the command prompt and here in all one word and lowercase let's type in system info and press enter this will bring up a lot of information about your computer and once this loads if we can scroll up we can see the amount of RAM we have that's supposed to be listed under the total physical memory I might have passed it and here it is total physical memory 2038 megabytes or approximately 1.99 gigabytes of RAM and now that we've seen that we can exit out a third way to check and see how much RAM your computer has is to go back to the start menu hover over all programs go up to accessories go down to system tools and then we will be clicking on system information this is just another great way to see what kind of computer specs your computer is running and under the total physical memory it tells me I have 2 gigabytes or 2048 megabytes of RAM so under system information it obviously rounds up the amount of RAM that you have and we can exit out of that if you feel like you do not have enough RAM for the amount of multitasking that your computer does, then you should purchase more RAM. A great website to purchase more RAM from is crucial.com. So that's www.crucial.com. Crucial.com will tell you what type of RAM your computer uses, and this is very important because not all computers use the same type of RAM. This website will also tell you how much RAM your computer can handle, since some computers are only designed to handle a certain amount of RAM. I know that my computer can only hold 2GB of RAM 
so I have completely maxed it out in terms of how much RAM it can have. Crucial usually sells this RAM for a pretty reasonable price, but if you want to check out another website to purchase RAM from, then go to datamem.com. As of right now, datamem does not charge for shipping, and I also recommend using that site. You could go the path of buying from a local electronics store, such as Best Buy, but usually places like Best Buy are much more expensive and they're not as helpful. So I recommend buying it from either Crucial or Data Mem. Once your RAM has arrived after you purchase it, you will need to open up your computer case to install it. If you are not comfortable with opening up your computer, then ask a professional to install it for you. But installing RAM is one of the easier changes you can make to your computer, even if you're a novice. But if you still have more questions or you want more information on installing RAM, then go to your computer manufacturer's website and you should get all the information you need in installing RAM. It's usually a basic clicking the RAM in and making sure it's locked. So I hope you buy RAM from one of these two websites and your computer speeds up and you install it very easily. I'll see you all next time.